Hey guys, I'm Emmanuel Williams with Salt Life, and in today's video, we landed the first swordfish on a PWC in history. It's an interesting day, man. I think Emmanuel picked me up at like 2 a.m. and said, all right, we got 14 hours to go go catch a big swordfish and I'm like all right let's go it's always been a dream of mine to catch a big swordfish on my sea dew and what better place in Louisiana it is filled with life whether it's swordfish yellow fin or red snappers on the oil rigs this is a place to be this is like my fourth or fifth time fishing in Venice Louisiana specifically and I love it here every time I'm here we catch something gigantic The first thing I did was hit up my buddy Blake from Triple Tail Charters. He told me it's a great time to come here and get on a swordfish. He's on them every single day. So we started off the morning super early following Blake about 50 miles into the Gulf. And I really leaned on Blake for his expertise during this trip. And thankfully he got us all rigged up, got us some nice sword baits. Next thing you know, we were fishing. Okay, dude. We were fishing in 1,400 feet of water, and after about three hours with no bite, we really started to get worried. We came all this way, and we needed our swordfish. All we need is that little bop, bop, bop. See the rod go, whoa. Slack off, and a little dip. We know he's there. That's the swordfish's bill whacking the bait. Comes up, and immediately just peels over, whoa. And then we got thumped. Next thing you know, we were in a full-on battle with a swordfish coming up from the depths. Alrighty guys, we are tight. On the sword. Keep all your weight on that side to help me out. Once I realized we were tight, my heart was racing so hard. I just couldn't fathom that this was finally gonna happen. I was cranking on the fish maybe for about five minutes. My arm got super tired. I switched in Sebastian and he got right to work, cranking on it, helping me get that fish to the surface. Woo. All right, you guys, we are tight. Back and swap out. On the back of the dew. It's right here. Careful, careful, spin it. Keep coming. Bring it to me. Once you get this, I'm gonna swap out there, right? right? It's coming up. You have to think we are hooked into a big, powerful fish on a PWC. We have a lot of weight. The water got rough on us. So it was very hard to manage how much we were rocking and the fish digging down, but thank God we were able to hold it together and we kept cranking this fish up. All right, come tight, come tight, come tight, come tight, come tight, come tight. All right, I'm gonna swap out with you. Before you know it, we had our lead coming out of the water. It was time to clip it off. And then I hopped right back on the rod. I'm trying to keep us in position, in and out of gear, and there's just not much room for air. Stay on that side, keep all your weight over there. Now that the swordfish is almost at the boat, the pressure was really on. Me and Sebastian started scrambling, trying to find gaff. Sebastian's behind me, trying to gab a gaff. I'm still cranking on this fish. Finally, we get the sword near the surface, I'm cranking on him, I'm screaming at Sebastian, stick him, stick him. Yo, just get ready to stick him, he's gonna come up right here. Stick him, dude. Stick him, stick him, stick him. Hell yeah! Woo! Hell yeah! <laughs> And Sebastian stuck him. I followed him up with another gaff. And there you have it. 
sword in the boat. Um, memories for a lifetime, I'll never forget it. Congratulations, bro. We did it, man. We did it. My thing is getting out there on the sea, dude, chasing big fish, and this is literally my dream fish, and we made it happen. That's so sick! We got him, dog. We got him. All righty, guys. There you have it. First ever swordfish on a PWC, on the Sea-Doo Fish Pro specifically. So the best problem we had all day is that we had nowhere to put this fish. So thank God we had Blake out there with us. We handed the fish off, got it in the cooler, and we started riding in. So on the way in, we stopped at an oil rig, and this is my first time in Louisiana, the first time seeing out here. So looking at that oil rig was just insane. But you know, I had to send down a jig and we got tight. After losing a couple fish on the jigs near the oil rig, I finally landed a Bonita and it's not the fish you're after, but it's a beautiful day. We're out here in the middle of nowhere, Venice, Louisiana, on the oil rigs, on a sea dude. Once we got back to the dock, we got the fish out of the boat, hung it up, got a couple pictures, and from there we put it on the sea dew and rode back over to our houseboat. So it was my first time cleaning a swordfish and it's a big fish. So I took my time with it, got its fillets all knocked off. Now we're gonna head home with some fresh swordfish steak. This trip was an absolute dream. I still can't fathom that we landed the swordfish on the sea dew. This would not have been possible without the help of Captain Blake my two homies, Tyler and Sebastian, and of course, the sponsors who support me, Sea Dew, Salt Life, and Extra Tough. Thank you guys so much. I can't believe this. Until next time.